What's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Sai TV. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. Ha. Huh. You know what? I was watching in the background today. Just had a bit of iftar with the family. You know, I thought, you know what? No one's not watching long, is it? You know what I mean? Let me just watch a little bit of Liverpool, eh? And then, uh, yeah, they score six goals against, I don't know, the Europa League team. But I think it's just one of them where I'm like, yo, them man warmed up the big guns. I seen Salah. I seen Nunes. I seen some of the big hitters on the pitch, you know, and I was like, boy, pray for Onano. They scored four goals in the first 14 minutes. Oh, let me just take that in. First 14 minutes, blitzed Liverpool. I just thought to myself, hmm, Manchester United have a lot of shots against them. Because that could easily be United, that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, as bad as that team was, I was like, take it to myself, we do concede a lot of shots. And I was like, yo, if Liverpool have anywhere between them 20 shots, best believe they will take advantage and they will be deadly. So my message is to everyone, pray for Anano and pray for this Man United team. We have to do something. Sunday is going to be that day and Liverpool ain't messing around. Mo Salah, <laughs> first player in the history to score 20 goals per season in consecutive seasons. Even he's getting the groove of it now. Even he's getting, you know what I mean, warming up. Warming up. That's what's going on, people. And I just look into myself and I was, I was watching the game and I was like, damn, man, Liverpool look good. Even with the players that are coming off the bench, these guys, Bradley and bro, like, who are these guys? Never knew them before. They're coming in and it's like they're just playing, playing, playing forever. That confidence to play in the system, Cody Gakpo, all of these guys that are probably not in the first team, they come in and they fit in like a glove. Fitting in nice and easy. And that comes down to belief in a manager, belief in the system, belief in what you're trying to do. And yeah, like I said to you, it is the Europa League. But the message is clear, man. I'm telling you people, this ain't no mess around. I'm coming in there and I'm coming with my crutches. Yeah, you see this? I'm going to be there on Sunday. I'm making that trip with one leg. Yeah, them players better not embarrass me. They better go out there and show something. Yeah, they better go out there and show something. Because I ain't having none of that, yeah? I ain't having it. I'm sorry, people. We have to show that spirit. Because if we lose to these lot here, the season is done, people, yeah? You're not hearing me. Season is done. Nunes missed the city today, but still, the chaos is causing the interplay. The way they press Liverpool, it is frightening. No McAllister today. No end of the old. They all had a rest today. You know what I'm saying? The man rested. But yet today, like I said to you, Absolutely crazy. 7, 8, 10, 14. And then obviously, Gakpo got another one. And, and like I said, their team today, Kelleher, Bradley, Kwanzaa, Gomez. To be fair, Endo did play, actually. Robertson, Sabozlai, Endo, Clark, Mo Salah, Nunes, Gakpo. You know what I'm saying? To Alex McAllister on the bench. Luis Diaz on the bench. Van Dijk on the bench. Oh, oh my God, man. I am, you know what it is with me, yeah? I just want to know what the plan is for Sunday. How are we going to contain Liverpool? Because like I said to you, yeah, I think they're now, what, 22 games unbeaten, is it? Correct me if I'm wrong. The Staticos in the comments below, they have 22 games unbeaten. We have to take them seriously. They are not going to be coming here thinking, you know what? Like, I don't think they're even playing the kids on Sunday. I generally don't think they're going to play playing the kids on Sunday. I think it's going to be majority the first team. I think it's going to be majority the first team. Yeah, you might get the right back in, uh, you know, Trent might not be available. But apart from that, they're coming in, mate, and they are looking to embarrass and show no mercy. I haven't seen a, a victory at Old Trafford since probably 
maybe the the Ollie days. I think maybe one of the Ollie days. Maybe we haven't seen a victory at Old Trafford. Uh, the last time when I was there, I, I did empty Old Trafford, so I wasn't there and available for that game. So I haven't really seen a Liverpool victory. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm trying to say? And now midfield, the way we give the ball away, look at the way they press Liverpool. The way they press Liverpool is alarming. It really, really is. They're hounding you. I'm literally petrified today. I was watching their pressing. I was like flipping out. And I watched it, to be fair, on Sunday. I was watching their pressing. The way they press at you is absolutely mad. Such hyenas. And that's one of the things that Jurgen Klopp has managed to do at his Liverpool reign is provide an identity where everybody presses well and they're a machine and they're just energy, energy. Why do you think they got Endo and Sabozlai? You know what I mean? Endo technically is probably better than what people thought, but Sabozlai, he's more better off the ball. You know, these guys, Curtis Strong, they never stopped running. McAllister, very good technician, but never stops running. Salah never stops running. Nunes never stops running. These guys, their endeavour and what they show for the team is absolutely crazy, man. And that's something that you just got to say to yourselves. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And my United, like I said to you, Ten Hag, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Eras come to an end. That's what you told me. It better not be your era coming to an end. Hey, hey. It better not be you, mate. It better not be you. Yeah? So you need to formulate a plan to stop this Liverpool team. You really, really have to. I don't know, low block with a, with a sense of counter-attacking. I don't know. But there has to be something that this team and this Man United team do. Can't be playing Bruno Fernandes and just selling what to do. Hoyland has to be fit. We need Hoyland. We need that physical, physicality up front. We need him to, to, to try and, you know what I mean, occupy the two centre rounds. We need that. To, we need it. So please do that now. Let me know in the comments below, man. Like I said, I'm giving my honest opinions. You know what I mean? A lot of people think I'm more, um, you know, biased at what you see. But listen, I'm just trying to give the full facts, try to remain objective, try and just give you the full truth, man. You know what I'm saying? To pray for United on Sunday. That's all I'm going to say. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah.